When I first saw the movie Avatar, I wanted to live on Pandora and become a Navi like the main character Jake Sully. And judging by the success of the movies, the fandom, and the popularity of Pandora the World of Avatar theme park, it seems like I'm not alone in that feeling. The magic of connecting with nature and really feeling like a part of everything was what charmed me about the Navi and the Tree of Souls. Connecting to nature and feeling like a part of the whole feels inaccessible to humanity a lot of the time. But in reality, we already have a marvelous world full of interconnected life, and some scientists have theorized that the planet has its own kind of consciousness as a whole. The biosphere makes adjustments to self-maintain when things are out of balance. The Tree of Souls, which connects all life in the surrounding forest, is very similar to what we have on Earth in the way of mother trees. These are great trees that share their nutrients and support the other trees around them warning the others of threats like infestations, and even prioritizing their own kin over other saplings, just like we tend to do with our children. The forest is connected and communicating through the root systems of trees and the fungal mycelium, creating a complex interconnected system. And then these systems all over the earth help the biosphere regulate itself on a larger scale. We are already living in a natural paradise here on earth that is all connected, and we are woven into that too. This is why I feel lucky to work outdoors, where I can be reminded of that connection all the time. This piece of salvaged cypress was fished out of the Blanco River in Texas after flash floods took out several trees growing along the banks. The tree came down before its time, and the wood is solid and beautiful with a light uniform color. It's more of a blank canvas for paints and stains and with more predictable outcomes for the final color than eastern red cedar. I don't come across cypress nearly as often as cedar, so it's a real treat for me when I do. I love working with salvaged wood that has a story and bringing it to life again in a new way. This piece was mostly created with die grinders and small rotary tools using saber tooth bits. I'm adding links to the description since I'm no scientist and so you know where these ideas are coming from. I highly recommend all of them. If you like this video, please share it.